Now I'm sure all of you know outbreaks in Scarlet and Violet are great for shiny hunting. And thanks to Cerebi, we can see an entire list of Pokemon that come up on your map for the outbreaks. But unfortunately, as far as I know, one thing that isn't listed anywhere are the odds for these encounters. And that's why over the past few streams, me and a team of my Twitch chatters have been working our asses off to try and find these odds. We have been refreshing our games hundreds of times for hours on end and putting that data into a spreadsheet. Now along with that, researching these raids helped me learn some useful things so I thought I'd share them with you guys. Now this was a pretty big project. It took a lot of time and effort to get this worked out between me and the team. So along with thanks to them, if you guys could leave a like and a comment it would help out way more than you think. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? It's free and I'll show my balls in the next video. Alright, enough bullshit, let's get into it. So, Outbreaks. I'm sure if you clicked on this video you already know what they are so I'm going to keep this brief. Outbreaks are a phenomenon where a group of Pokemon will spawn on your map. These spawns are biome dependent meaning a Pokemon will only spawn in a certain biome. Now based on our spreadsheet, some Pokemon are common and some Pokemon are John Cena. Now these outbreaks are great for hunting shinies, blah blah blah, you guys all know this. So some things you might not know. As of right now, there are 372 Pokemon in total for the outbreak pool. This number is including the different forms of Pokemon, meaning that you could have two separate outbreaks for Sinistee's phony and antique form. Now although I've said that, as far as I know, there cannot be two of the same Pokemon on the map even though they have different forms. Now speaking of the map. There can be 4 to 8 sets of Pokemon outbreaks on a map at any given time. Thanks to numbers like this, refreshing your raids will give you a better chance at getting the rarer Pokemon outbreaks. If you don't know how to do this, it's very simple. You don't even have to close your game or your map. You just go to your settings, change your time a day up, and your raids and outbreaks will be refreshed. Now even though you can do this unlimited times, there are still Pokemon outbreaks that are so insanely rare that we haven't even seen them after 800 plus resets. So with the Pokemon that we have seen, I've decided to put them into different categories and show them on screen here. The first category is common. These Pokemon will spawn about 50 to 10% of the time. In this category are some pretty decent shiny Pokemon. You got shiny Gyarados, shiny Bombardier, and maybe even shiny Frostlass. On the other hand, we have a Pokemon like Rufflet who makes me want to go into Professor Sada's time machine, go back in time and start curb stomping the shit out of this thing until it no longer exists in the future. This category doesn't have the greatest Pokemon, but given their percentages and how many times you can refresh, they're not that hard to find. Now on to the next category, which is uncommon. The Pokemon in this category spawn about 10-5% to of the time. Now in this category is when the bangers start to show up like Shiny Dratini, Shiny Dreepy, Shiny Finizen, and Shiny Azuril. Now I know these percentages may seem low, but given how many times we refreshed versus how many times we actually saw them, it's not that bad. Now the next category is where Pokemon start to get a little bit more rare, which is the name of this category, Rare. Now the ones in this category are going to be spawning from about 5 to about 1% of the time. It's kind of weird how they gave such a low spawn chance to some of the Pokemon in this list as they're not even that desirable. Like Bronzor or Dawn Dozo. I know you're fucking lying to me if you get on Pokemon and the first thing you say is, Oh god damn, I want me a shiny Dawn Dozo. Alright enough of that, on to the next category. Now the next category is insanely rare. Now these are going to be your Pokemon spawning less than 1% of the time. Now unfortunately, there are a lot of heaters in this category. I'm talking Eevee, Riolu, Ralts, Gumi. God, bro. Leave a comment if you've actually ever seen an outbreak for these Pokemon and consider yourself very fucking lucky. Now there is one more category that I have created and that category is the myths. The legends, the ones we have yet to see. These things are either seasonal exclusives or they just don't exist. And trust me, the list is way too big. You're just gonna have to go look at the spreadsheet for yourself. Now, I don't know why they decided to make a lot of these Pokemon so rare. I'm almost convinced that they're just not even in the game yet. But we are far from finished. Even after I finish this video, we're gonna keep working on the spreadsheet and increasing the sample size to try and slim those odds down. And if you did want to help with this, you can follow me on Twitch and shoot me a chat message letting me know you're interested and I would love to add you to the team. Well, other than that, that is all I wanted to share with you guys today. I will leave the spreadsheet link in the description so you can see it for yourself. But before I go, I'm giving away some shiny Eevees. And after watching this video, you can see these are pretty rare. But if that's something you're interested in, I'll go ahead and leave the video on how to enter down below. 
But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the continued support. Fucking love you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Deuces. Just to get mind numbing after a bit. I mean, I'm just, I'm just brain off, bro. I'm used to this. I'm a streamer. <laughs> you come from Apex, like, come on. Trust me, I've I've done some things in my time.